All right, thanks for joining us today. We are testing every single mask on Amazon. And my intros are getting longer because I'm getting more and more tired, the more and more disappointed I get. Uh, this mask is uh, the brand you've probably heard of, Disposable Mask. Uh, it's the most popular brand on Amazon, Disposable Mask. At least there is a brand when you buy it and then when it shows up, um, you get a lot of the same thing. So we've tested this one before. I'm gonna test it again. This one is called the brand NNPCBT. That's definitely a, a random name generator and not a very good one either. <laughs> Disposable sanitary face mask, eco-friendly, suitable for homes. That's good. Let's put it in the system. And they're not making any claims on the packaging either. This is a different mask. Same packaging, same outer layer, but different mask. That's interesting. Logistics. All right, I'm gonna try this guy on. Oh, wow, that's horrible. Oh, oh breathability is 92.1, which is pretty good actually. But the breathability with the face mask on is terrible because it smells like something's burning in the next room. Now this is constructed really well. They're using a flat instead of a round ear loop. Uh, ear loop. Um, it's very strong design. The fabric is a little bit thicker. I like to have it a little bit thinner uh, personally, um, just because that usually lends some more breathability. Although the breathability in this is great. It's uh, 92 Pascals, 91 Pascals. That's a great breathability. Um, it's a little bit like rougher than I think some of the stuff we've seen, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't buy this. I haven't even looked at the results, but the smell is too much for me. This is a uh, particulate efficiency testing machine. And if you wanna find out more about how that works, I'll put a link down below this video. Uh, but basically we're using the American standard to figure out what percentage of particulates this thing, these masks block. We want to see about 95%. That's the minimum standard. And this one had a great breathability. So what do you think, Arasio? Let's go with 90. You're going to go with 90? Yeah. You don't like them. You're going to go lower. Yeah. You don't think they're going to meet a standard. Now, to be clear, they didn't, they didn't claim to meet any standard, but they came in at 96.2%. Oh, wow. Okay. Beating the American PFE standard. That's great. 96.209%. To be precise, um, great breathability. So the mechanics of the mask I actually really like, uh, but it's the, uh, I don't like the, I don't like these flat packaging. I don't think it, uh, you know, holds things very well. And uh, the, I don't know, like, I don't like the packaging. I don't like the brand, but the, the numbers are great. Yeah. Your mileage may vary. If you decide to buy these masks based on this review or not, or if you decide to stop watching YouTube altogether, because that's how much you hate this video, that's fine. I still am gonna ask you to like, or maybe subscribe, because if you're not watching YouTube anymore, what does it matter? Just give me the, I need to pay for all this. Come on, help me out. <laughs> all right, thanks very much. We're gonna do some more testing. Unfortunately, actually starting to not look forward to this, uh, so stick with us. <laughs>